having grabbed a sizable market share from Tata Motors in the mini truck space, Mahindra and Mahindra will now challenge the country's largest commercial vehicle maker in growing minivan space with the introduction of Cheeto minivan. Launched at a price of Rs 3.45 lakh, the diesel version of Cheeto is priced at Rs 25,000 more than its rarest rival Tata Magic Iris. Mahindra claims the Jito van offers higher mileage, power and comfort and the prospective buyer can earn Rs 1 lakh more over a period of two years versus Magic Iris due to faster turnaround time and more seating capacity. The new Mahindra Jito minivan comes with two engine options and three fuel choices diesel, petrol and CNG. The diesel model, which is likely to be the top-selling variant, is powered by the company's 655cc M Dura direct injection engine that is BS4 compliant. The motor is powerful enough to churn out about 16 bhp and develop 38 nm of peak torque. The engine also offers a class-leading mileage of 26 kmpl. As mentioned before, Mahindra also offers petrol and CNG models of the Jito Mini Pan, which will be rolled out later. Honda showcased a new direction for America's retail best-selling mid-size sedan with the world debut of a more stylish, sporty and premium 2018 Honda Accord that launches this fall. The new Accord features new engines including new turbocharged gasoline power plants, available hybrid powertrains and a 10-speed automatic transmission. Here's the latest from Honda. The 10th generation Accord is new from the ground up and features a lighter and more rigid body structure and advanced new chassis design. Two all-new, high-torque, directed, injected and turbocharged engines, the world's first 10-speed automatic transmission for a front-drive car and a new generation of Honda's two-motor hybrid technology along with a host of new safety, driver-assisted and connected car technologies all wrapped in a more sophisticated, sleek and athletic design with top-class interior space and comfort. The 2018 Honda Accord measures 192.1 inches in length, 73.2 inch in width and 56. 7.1 inch in height and has a wheelbase of 111.4 inches. On the outside, it gets 9 lamp full LED headlights, LED fog lights, 19 inch alloy wheels, and LED tail lamp. Comfort convenience features include dual zone automatic climate control, ambient interior lighting, remote engine start, and push button start. MV Augusta has launched its Blue Tail 800 at an next showroom price of Rs 15.59 lakh, making it the most affordable offering from the exotic Italian bike maker. The Blue Tail 800 sits below the existing F3 800 middleweight super sport which cost nearly Rs 1.5 lakh more than the new offering. Based on a revised platform, the new model gets a sharp design that seeks to reflect the agility of the bike. The Blue Tail 800 has been built on a steel trellis structure with a bolted cast aluminium rear frame. The minimalistic styling comes with a well-sculpted fuel tank and several sleek panels. The bike also receives MV Augusta's signature three-pipe exhaust. The rear gets a single-sided swing arm with adjustable rear monoshock, which also adds a style statement to one of the best-looking motorcycles in the segment. The front comes suspended on adjustable 43mm inverted fork and the front disc brakes also get racing-type radial calipers. Mercedes-Benz has unveiled its first-ever pickup truck, which the company calls the X-Class. First shown as a concept version at a presentation in Stockholm in 2016, the X-Class is a rugged, all-terrain pickup that can also be used as a vehicle for urban lifestyles. It consists of a ladder-type frame, red multi-link solid axle, front independent wheel suspension and coil springs on both axles, which ensure the car to provide a better off-road experience. As per the company claims, the X-Class can haul a payload of up to 1.1 ton. That is enough to transport 17 full 50-litre barrels of beer in the cargo area. The company also claims that it can also pull a trailer containing three horses or an 8-meter yacht. The X-Class is the only mid-size pickup to be equipped with lightning in the cargo area as standard. The third brake light contains LED lights which illuminate the whole load bed. Inside, the X-Class comes with a 5.4-inch color multimedia display that is nestled between the analog round dials that are inspired by the C-Class and V-Class. It also gets autonomous emergency braking, forward collision warning and lane-keeping assistance systems in combination with a suit of seven airbags. 
After years of build-up and honing in the world of rallying, Hyundai has finally kicked off its long-awaited high-performance and division. The new sub-brand charges out of the gates with the i30N, an ambitious five-door hatchback that seemingly splits the crown between Honda's new Civic Si and Civic Type R models. The i30N features a high-output version of Hyundai's familiar 2.0-litre GDI four-cylinder tuned to deliver up to 276 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque when equipped with an optional performance pack. 0 to 62 mph is estimated at 6.1 seconds. The less powerful stand i30N still delivers 250 HP and the same torque enough to hit 62 mph in 6.4 seconds. Like many of its rivals, the i30N is only available with a 6-speed manual and it delivers power exclusively to the front wheels. Front wheel drive is always a recipe for driving greatness but like rivals, the i30N was extensively tuned on Germany's famed Nürburgring circuit and its development has been overseen by Alfred Biermann, formerly the boss at BMW. Suzuki Motor Corporation has launched new versions of Swift Compact Car equipped with a hybrid system in Japan. The car comes in two variants, Swift Hybrid SG and Swift Hybrid SL. The new model pairs standard 91 HP 1.2 litre petrol motor to a 10 kW motor generator unit and a 5 speed auto gear shift gearbox. In addition to driving assist with its motor function, the system automatically stops the engine and switches to EV driving when the vehicle is running at a constant speed or during creeping. The system offers two driving modes to let the driver select between brisk driving and driving with priority on fuel efficiency by increasing the frequency of EV driving. The company claims the car to provide a high fuel efficiency of 32.0 kmpl. The vehicle weight is kept within 1000 kg and it qualifies for eco car tax breaks in Japan. Till now, there are no updates by the company about the launch of the new Swift Hybrid in India. Under the new tax regime, hybrid vehicles are on the same slab as luxury cars at 28% GST plus 15% CES at present. At 43%, total tax incidence on these vehicles is higher from the previous effective tax rate of 30.3%. Jeep Compass, the much-anticipated mid-size SUV from the American automaker, is all set to be launched in India on the 31st of July 2017. Earlier expected to go on sale in August, it seems the company has preponed the launch of the Compass, possibly after seeing the positive GST rates on SUVs that were implemented on 1st July 2017. Booking for the SUV has already started with an advance payment of Rs 50,000. The Indian version in particular comes with the option of two engines, a 1.4-litre four-cylinder turbocharged petrol and two-litre four-cylinder turbocharged diesel motor. Transmission duties are handled by a six-speed manual unit and an optional seven-speed automatic gearbox. Jeep India will be manufacturing the Compass locally at the company's Ranjan Gao plant in Maharashtra near Pune. Interestingly, the facility will cater to both domestic and export markets and India will be the global hub for all the right-hand drive Compass SUV. From India, the right-hand drive Jeep Compass SUVs will be shipped to markets like Australia, UK and Japan. This means we can certainly expect superior quality and performance from the Jeep Compass. Bajaj has now officially launched the matte black Dominar 400 in India. The bike started reaching the dealership a couple of weeks earlier and have priced at Rs 1.41 lakh for the non-ABS version and Rs 1.55 lakh for the ABS version. The Dominar 400 is already available in a choice of three colors, plum, white and blue. Nonetheless, there aren't any mechanical changes to the engine and transmission. Powering the Dominar 400 is a 373cc single-cylinder liquid-cooled fuel-injected engine that produces 35 HP at 8000 rpm and 35 Nm of torque at 6500 rpm. The engine comes paired to a 6-speed gearbox. The Dominar 400 comes feature-loaded with a slipper clutch, dual-channel ABS, LED headlamps and tail lamps and reverse backlit instrument cluster as well. Bajaj recently launched the Dominar 400 in Turkey. 
Earlier this year, Group PSA, the French outfit who owns the Peugeot and Citroen car brands, announced its partnership with the New Delhi-based CK Billa Group, hinting at a brand relaunch into the Indian car market by 2020. Sources tell us that the five-door 208 hatchback will be the first one to come here. Slightly shorter than the Elite i20 at 3,962 mm, its main competitor, the 208, will likely be manufactured locally. It will come with the naturally aspirated 82 PS 1.2 liter petrol. The diesel being above 1.5 liters may not be available at the outset here. The next model is the 308. The 4.2 M long hatchback has been unveiled internationally earlier this year. However, its specifications are yet to be disclosed. It will also be manufactured in Chennai. The previous generation car came with a pure tech three cylinder petrol motor in varied states of tune. The car looks handsome and is likely to be quite spacious too. The boot space too is a massive 470 liters. Pojo's SUV lineup in India will include the 208 and 3008. The 3008 is newer and it even won the 2017 Car of the Year award at the Geneva Motor Show. This accolade came courtesy of its youthful design, a versatile cabin and an excellent choice of petrol and diesel engines. The new Audi A8 has made its world debut at the Audi Summit in Barcelona. In its fourth generation, the flagship model of the company provides an innovative touchscreen operating concept and a systematically electrified drive. The company also claims Audi A8 to be the first production automobile in the world to have been developed for highly automated driving. In a statement, Audi characterized the redesigned A8's exterior styling as the dawning of a new design era for the entire brand, but that's a bit of hyperbilly. The new front-end design trades the prior generation's tall single-frame grille for a wider version that's better integrated with the rest of the car's styling, but its profile and rear styling don't stray far from the template established by its predecessor. The interior sees much bigger changes both in appearance and functionality. The dashboard adopts a minimalist design with ventilation ducts covered by motorized doors and a large gloss black panel below them that stretches the width of the dashboard. The new A8 can also manage more driving situations than ever before with Audi Artificial Intelligence Traffic Jam Pilot. The A8 can drive itself at speeds up to 35 mph on highways with a physical barrier separating opposing lanes of traffic. Using radar sensors, a front camera, ultrasonic sensors and a laser scanner, the system builds a picture of the car's surrounding to enable self-driving. Swedish auto major Volvo has launched the V90 Cross Country in India. Available in single trim options, the estate wagon has been priced at Rs 60 lakhs. The car has been positioned between the existing S90 and the XC90 models and following the signature Volvo design concept. It is based on the same scalable product architecture platform that is shared across the 90 series car. However, new 20-inch wheels provide it with 60mm larger ground clearance as compared to the standard S90. The 2017 Volvo V90 Cross Country is powered by a new D5 engine that is a 2.0 liter twin turbocharged diesel motor. Retaining the same 8-speed automatic gearbox from the older D4 mil, the new motor churns out 235 PS of peak power and 480 Nm of peak torque. The car gets a roof rail and there's also adaptive air suspension at the rear. Luggage space is at 560 litres but can be expanded to 1526 litres with the second row seats folded. On the inside, it gets equipment such as 12.3-inch driver display, seen in other Volvo models, Napa leather upholstery, power adjustable driver and passenger seat with memory, 4-zone climate control and panoramic sunroof.